Hey everyone, it's Cupquake. Welcome to another episode of DIY Geeky Goodies. Today, I really wanted to make something for mothers. And what better than a rose? But this is going to be an 8-bit pixelated rose. So, you're going to need perler beads. You can find these at any craft store. Be sure to get the colors that you need. You're also going to need pegboards, the kind that attach and detach. I'll put a link in the description where I got mine. So the very first thing you want to do is get a pattern or design that you want to follow. In the description you will find a picture of my flower and you can use that to follow. Feel free to adjust any colors or anything you like. So basically just place down the beads with your fingers or if you don't have tiny fingers you can also use some tweezers to place them down but be sure that you are very careful with this because they will fall off if you bump them or if your cat jumps on it the beads will fall off that would be a very bad thing and you'll lose all your artwork once you're done with your design I'm gonna go grab some tweezers and pull out some beads and adjust the colors a bit because I'm not completely satisfied with it nothing is set in stone yet so you can adjust it however you like now I'm just going to extend the stem of the flower and be sure to put this weird looking shape at the bottom. This is so that it will stay in the pot when you put it in. So once you're done with your design and you're satisfied with it, now grab the paper that the perler beads come with. You can also get this online and set your iron on medium and just in circular motions put it over the beads until you start to see them sort of melting uh, let that cool because it'll be very hot then once it's cool you can peel back your paper and pick up your design flip it over and do the same thing to the other side so put your paper on top and iron it again for 10 to 20 seconds so this is going to ensure that it does not fall apart and you're melting the beads together once you're done ironing your design, set it aside and let it cool and I'm going to grab some foam and a flower pot. So I'll put a link in the description where I got mine as well. I actually got them at Michael's. So you're going to use a serrated knife and trim away uh, some of the foam. Make sure that it fits inside of the pot. Once it fits, you're going to cut off the top of it and just kind of round off the top. Make sure that it fits inside of the pot and that there is about an inch of pot that it sits below the inch of the pot. So you're going to cut that in half and then you're going to grab your flour and sandwich it in between the two pieces of foam and you're going to make sure that you adjust it to your liking. Then you're going to grab the extra pieces that you had cut off and stick them inside all of the holes so that it fits very snug. I would suggest wearing a mask doing this because it gets all up in your nose. So once you're done with this, you can place anything you like on the top of the pot. Just to cover the foam, I placed some wood cubes. Once you're done with that, you now have yourself an 8-bit rose. I think these are adorable and this is a perfect gift for Mother's Day. And the best thing is the flower will never die. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. I am Cupquake and I will see you all later. Bye! 